in the previous session we have already talked about the concept of a square of proposition. In this class, we would be covering some basic examples to understand the square of opposition and deal with the questions on the square of opposition. So let's first start with the first question here. I have a statement, some politicians are honest. Now in this question, what I have to do, I have to find the subcontrary and subaltern propositions for this statement. So this is statement, some politicians are not honest, is a statement of type O here, okay. So this is a statement of type O. Since subcontrary is a relation between I and O, I need to find out the statement for I here, okay. So the statement for I here would be, if I am saying some politicians are not honest, that means here I will say some politicians are honest. Here I am not verifying the truth proposition. Okay, I am not saying the relationship that if this is true, this has to be true or false. I am not talking about the relationship here. The ju just the question is, what would be the subcontrary of this statement that some politicians are not honest? Okay, so for this, the sub or a subcontrary statement would be some politicians are honest. And then you are asked about the subaltern statement. So subaltern here would be in relationship between E and O. So I have find out I. Now the next thing I have to find out is E. Okay. So since I am saying some politicians are not honest, here I would say no politician is honest. Okay. So the subaltern statement here would be no politician is honest. Okay. And the subcontrary statement would be some politicians are honest. Okay. So this is how we find out the statements of the subcontrary and the subordinate propositions. Now the next question here is all dogs are animals is a true statement under contradictory approach. Okay. So contradictory relationship I'm saying all dogs are animals. So it's a kind of statement which is A. Okay. Now this is statement is true. I have to find out the contradictory statement. So the contradictory statement would be O which says all would become some because this is, uh, this is universal, this is particular. So it would become some dogs are and this is a negative statement you have not here. These two are negative statements as we have discussed in the class. So I will say some dogs are not animals. Okay. And this would be a false statement because since I am claim, claiming all dogs are animals, I cannot say some dogs are not animals. So this is true. This would be false in nature. Okay. And this would be the contradictory proposition for all dogs are animals. Okay. Now in the next question, you are asked in which kind of proposition uh, relationship, in which kind of categorical relationship, both cannot be true, but both might be false. So let's start with contrary here, that is relationship between A and E. I am saying both cannot be true. So if I am saying all are red, okay, then None of them is red is automatically false because I have only two blocks and both of them are red. So there is no green block. So no blocks is uh, red would automatically become a false statement. So if one is true, the other automatically becomes false. So both cannot be true at the same time. So if this is true, this has to be false. So the, the first statement that we have seen here is correct. Now let's talk about the authenticity of the second statement. But both might be false. So now what I am doing is, I will make this statement as false. Okay. So all blocks are red. In this case, this becomes a false statement because there is one block which is green in color. Then no block is red becomes a false statement. Okay. Because there is no block which is red in color. So if this is false, this becomes false in nature. But if this is false, now I change the blocks here. I do all green blocks here. Okay. 
no no blocks are red in color okay this is false again in this case but in this case what happens is no block is red in color becomes a true statement so if i am making this false i cannot say about the authenticity of this this can be true this can be false i'll explain this once more okay so if this is true that means all blocks are red in color then no block is red in color automatically becomes false because i have only two blocks which are red in color and there is no blocks which are not red in color so if this is true this becomes false so both cannot be true is correct now let's see what i do is i make this false so i am using two red and one green here okay so all blocks are not red is false here now what becomes here is no block is red that again is false because there are two blocks which are red in color so if this is false this becomes false now let me change my propositions here and change the colors here so i have two green blocks and this is statement all blocks are red becomes false okay but now in this case what is happening is the proposition all blocks are red is becoming false but no block is red in color becomes true because i have two blocks and both of them are green in color okay so with this we can understand that under contrary approach is one that if one is true the other has to be false okay but if one is false the other can be true or false that is nothing can be predicted about it it can be true it can be false okay so the statement both uh, both cannot be true but both might be false is applicable to a contrary approach so the correct answer for this is contrary approach okay and the last question says which of the following categorical propositions out of contrary sub contrary sub alternate contradictory says that if super is true sub must be true so if i am saying all blocks are red in color that automatically implies that there should be some blocks which are red in color are two blocks both of them are red in color that means at least one block would also be there which would be red in color so if super is true sub has to be true so this is a, a condition which we consider under the sub alternative so the correct answer here would be sub alternative so here in this uh, example today what we have tried to find out is the type of relationship so the relationship between contrary we have tried to understand we have tried to understand uh, example of uh, sub alternative okay then we have tried to find out prepositions so if i know one of the prepositions i can make all other prepositions now let's talk about some other preposition for example i have the preposition that some children are not going to school okay so this is a preposition here of type o the sub contrary preposition here would be some children are going to school okay the contradictory proposition of this would be all children are going to school and the uh, sub alternate proposition would be no children are going to school so if i know the proposition for one of these i can find out the proposition for the remaining three so what i have done here is some politicians are not honest i know this is statement so i can see some politicians are honest is a sub contrary statement and no politician is honest is a sub alternate statement for this in the next question what we had done was all dogs are animals is a true statement okay and i have to find out a contradictory statement for that that means some dogs are not animals would be a contradictory statement and again in this question it was given that if all dogs are animals is a true statement what would be the status of the other statement so the sum dogs the uh, sum dogs are not animals would automatically be false because since since i am saying all dogs are animals i cannot say there are some dogs which are not animals okay so under these uh, these are the types of questions that are covered under square of proposition so you are you may be asked to find out the proposition you might be asked to verify the truth or uh, the true nature or the truth of the proposition whether it is true or it is false or you can be asked about the 
relationship that exists between the contraries of contrary subaltern and contradictory. Okay. So with this, we cover the complete topic on the square of opposition. This is an important topic from which at least two to three questions are asked every year. So stay tuned for further topics. Till then, have a good day ahead.